Hello guys, Ed Martin here. Uh, just wanted to make you a little video this morning to uh, show you kind of the stages of uh, knife making, what it's really like. <laughs> Sometimes when you wa watch uh, shows like Forged in Fire or other knife related videos and shows, you get the impression sometimes that uh, knives are made uh, one at a time. Uh, but that's not really true, especially with guys that are making knives for a living. You can't just do them one at a time because there's a lot of stages involved and a lot of things going on. And uh, you, have to, you have to make them in batches to be able to make a living at it. Uh, so that's what I wanted to kind of show you this morning was uh, how uh, you've got several things going on at the same time. Uh, like right now, last night I had uh, I had some knives in cryo. I had uh, had put them in and they stayed overnight. And then I pulled them out this morning and I brought them in to temper again. They had tempered one time yesterday. Uh, you've got knives that you, sometimes that you're blanking out. You just start out with a bar stock and you start blanking them out and you have to prepare them to be ground because you have to mark them off and get everything right for grinding them. That takes a while also. Uh, th but these have passed that and I've got them in an oven now uh, uh, tempering right now. There's a couple of minutes left on them there. And then I have some right, right here that are in, uh, that ha have been uh, brought to critical temperature and they're ready to be tempered. I'll put them in, a, in the oven as soon as I pull the others out and, uh, and start tempering those. And then I have some over here that have already been brought through the uh, heat treating process, and I'm cleaning up the, the I'm cleaning up the sides on this one. These two over here uh, will have to be uh, cleaned up. And then over here is one that I've already uh, cleaned up and uh, put a guard on it and we'll be putting a handle on it next. And, it, and over here is where you put the handles on and, and, the, and when you're doing them by hand, well, you're not putting handles on already CNC'd out. You have to put a block on there and, uh, and then you have to form it on the grinder and contour it the way it's supposed to be done and so forth. So you got sometimes knives that are in that stage and then of course after you get that done well then you've got to go over here and you've got to uh, uh, do your uh, leather work uh, which is uh, uh, putting uh, putting the sheath on the knife and you use uh, leather that you have in uh, these boxes and so forth that you use to uh, to uh, uh, put the uh, put the sheath on it, and then after you get through with the sheath on it, well, then you have to do the finish work on the knife. Now I usually do that one at a time uh, because finish work is uh, a process. It it is anal. Okay, <laughs> you have to you have to get, be very meticulous and very slow and methodical about getting all the little rough spots out as best you can. Of course, on a handmade knife, you're still going to have a rough spot here and there anyhow, especially for an old fart like me who ha who can't see that well anyhow. So I have to take my time when I'm doing the finishing work, and that's the final stage. And then you got to put the logo on the knife, and then you got to go take pictures of it and send pictures to the customer and uh you know it's there's not a, there's a lot of different stages in, involved in it so i just wanted to be this to be an instructional video just to show you how uh there are a lot of different stages knives are not made just one at a time sometimes guys ask me how long does it take to make a knife well that depends depends on the knife it depends on uh what all's going on do you count the time that it's in tempering do you count the time that it's in the cry process overnight what what are you it, it, what are you going to do you know how how are you going to gauge that you know so uh it can it, one way you can gauge it it takes a week one way you can gauge it and it'll take maybe a day you know so it's hard to say okay it takes me uh uh this many hours to make this knife unless you have a real a guy following you around with a stopwatch every day uh trying to figure all that out okay guys i'm gonna quit ranting on this now let y'all go and i appreciate you watching the video i hope it'd be a help to you when you're when you're thinking about knives and you're uh, working with an old knife maker like me <laughs> Talk to you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye.